DNS stands for the domain name service. Sometimes they say domain name system, but it's a service, okay? This looking up things. So if I know a name, I send a request to a server, and then the server sends back and you know I'm going to put it here, right? The IP address. Okay. So that's the whole idea of the domain name service. You type in a name, you send it, that makes it so your computer is going to send a request to, and I'll just put a DNS server, and then the server is going to send back the IP address. Can I flip over to the computer real quick? Can I get the computer again? It doesn't have this thing? Oh, wow. Well. Okay, we'll do that. I don't want to be my own operator. <laughs> it's all right. All right, so we're back to the command prompt. Here I'm going to do an IP config. IP C O N F I G. All right. And this tells me, and we've been through this one already. Up here, we already went through this, IP version 4 address, subnet mask, default gateway. So those are sort of the important things. Oops. They get me on the internet. Where's my, let me do a slash all, sorry. Is that going to give me a DNS? Look at all these tunnels. There I am. Right, if you go further down into your configuration, so here's my, look at that, link local IP version 6 address. That's pretty awesome, right? And then down here I have, where is my DNS server? There it is. So DNS servers right here, 192.168.100.153. That gets me connected to look up names. And I can do that down here. It's called NS, oops, lookup is the command prompt for that. And if I want to look up, for example, rhanes.odu.edu, it'll tell me here it tells me the server it used to look it up, ntp1.odu.edu. And notice here this 192.168.100.153 is the one right here. Okay, So that's my normal default DNS server. And then it looked up my computer's name, and there's the IP address of my computer. Okay, what do we have? CNN.com. So there's CNN with the two IP addresses. Stuff like Google doesn't have multiples. Oh, no, it does. Look at that. So there's a bunch for Google. Maybe I should have you guys look up Google. Dare me to do that again? I was telling you this, right? So there's the first time I looked up Google. starts with 101. You all see that? 139, 138, blah, blah, blah. Next one starts up 100. 102, 101. Come on, that's awesome. Gives me a different answer at the top of the list. Should be able to do CNN too. CNN. So notice CNN, I do it once, I get 25 first. The next time I get 26 first. I'm supposed to go woohoo. All right, should we do this again? Make me be my own operator. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's the whole purpose of domain name service. And notice there, we just looked it up. It only sends back IP version 4. All right, so why does this matter? They just sold this off. The I-C-A-N-N. -N. Well, they didn't sell it off. This is the Internet Corporation for Assigned. This is more things you don't need to know. Assigned names and numbers. Okay, so the ICANN just went international. The U.S. Commerce Department used to control this. 
and they just sort of did the formal passing over of saying this is not going to be just a U.S. thing anymore. Um, we'll worry about that in a minute. All right, so how does it work in general? They decide what names can exist, okay? So here's what happens. They control what we call the root, okay? You may have heard this thing called the dot in dot com. The root of the domain name service is the root. Uh, there are probably 30, between 30 and 50 servers around the world. Okay? And they are the authoritative root. Okay? So these are a server. So I will draw a server here. Okay? So there's a server here, and any name I want to look up really needs to start at the root. All right? So this is like the master record of everything. Then there is a top level domain. These are called a TLD. Okay? And you all have heard of these. Okay? So let's say we have dot com. All right? We good here? So dot com is one. I'll put these some other ones on here. .net, probably heard of .net. .gov. Um, I'll put some other ones we don't necessarily get into. We just did one here, .is. What was .is? Iceland, right? You guys know what .tv was? Little tiny baby country out in the South Pacific. And then we'll put on here, like, dot uk okay so the top level domain these are also a server okay there's a little mini servers right so there's a bunch of servers out there and the root servers say for example, if I'm looking up Microsoft.com, my request goes to the root and it says, who is the authority for .com? Are we good here? If I look up arhanes.odu.edu, I first go to the root and the root tells me where to look up .edu. Question was... Yes, .tv used to belong to a South Pacific country called Tuvalu. You guys want to hear the whole story? You know you do. So this uh, country, you know, this is the dot-com boom around 2000. And they're this tiny little country. And so they sold their domain, their top-level domain. It says .tv, I mean, come on, like every TV network should want that. And so there's a... Uh, you guys know the dot-com boom, right? And the dot-com crash? So this is in the height of like the internet bubble. And someone paid, I think they paid 25 million for it. So 25 million and the government of this little tiny Pacific Island turned over their server to this company. And what that means is this company now can say anything that ends in dot TV. Okay, they get to decide. 25 million dollars, it was more than that. That seems like, anyway. Tuvalu used that money to join the UN. You may not know this. It costs you money to join the UN. Isn't that cool? They managed the money pretty well. Well enough that, you know, with the climate change thing, one of the th problems with climate change is that affects islands is the rising sea levels. So this is a set of islands that's basically almost underwater and they've lost most of their fresh water. And so they're using that money to lobby the UN and try it anyway. So there's lots of fun stuff there. But anyway, there it is. And you've seen other ones like dot, what is it, dot co is Colombia, but they do a lot of stuff. Dot ly is Libya, but some of that stuff has been sold too, okay? So root, okay. So again, root 
is the one that gives out the top level domains. Are we good here? So where do these come from? Most of them are governments. So if you have a country, you say, hey, I can, you know, my co country is called Tuvalu, could you give me .tv? There used to be an .su, Soviet Union, okay? But then the Soviet Union broke up, you guys remember that? And then they got like .ru afterward, because they want to be called Russia now. Funny thing is .su never went away. But anyway, so they, again, this, these are the people that make the top level domains. They're arguing about stuff, like various things. One of the ones they argued about a lot was these guys wanted to do, and I'll just draw it out here. They wanted to put a dot X, 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 okay? So a company says, look, I want to have the top level domain. So domains that end with dot X, X, X. It's going to be for adult websites. Wouldn't that be cool? And then what they tried to tell the ICANN was this will make it so, you know, the dot com won't be so dirty anymore. All the dirty websites will go into dot XXX. Well, at the time it was the Bush administration. And the Bush administration had a hard time with, yeah, they would like to have, you know, to appease sort of the religious right. They'd like to have all the XXS people in this ghetto. But then, or red light district, they call it red light district. That's a nicer way to put it, right? But then people realize, look, most of them are going to stay at .com anyway. And so then the Christian groups are like, no, forget it. And so the ICANN had briefly approved it. And then the Commerce Department, where is it? They were under US control. The Commerce Department was like, no, you can't. And then so it got put off. 